Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're flying with my new experimental um, IR filter. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've got video recording going. I'm going to actually start the camera and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a takeoff here. And we're just going to experiment with this. You'll notice that the screen is really, really dark. Now, notice how notice how the trees glow so this is the woods effect so I'm, I'm picking up quite a bit of the woods effect in this um, it's really really dark so you can tell the, the the Mavic has a really really strong uh, IR cut filter and what I want to do is kind of take it out here and I have a lot of greenery in this shot, and that's one of the reasons I want to experiment with it here. So uh, I'm going to stop uh, video recording, and I'm going to go to camera, and I'm going to go to settings, and I'm going to go to manual. Whoops, and I want to set it for, there's a four second shot or sorry one second so I want to try an eight second shot so you notice that from the screen here I've got a lot of uh, stuff going on here a lot of noise so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do an eight second exposure and see how this how this uh, comes out I'll have to do an overlay because I won't be able to see it wow that's kind of blown out um, you can see I'm picking up a lot of noise on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down to ISO 200. Now that's a little bit strange. And again, one of the things, the hot mirror on this seems to be a bit odd. So let's go ahead and at ISO 200 uh, do some pops on this and see how it comes out. So again, a little bit better, but notice how hot everything is. Um, I'm going to go down to ISO 100 and let's do an image. So another eight second shot. So I'm taking eight second exposures, guys, with this filter. Now that's a little bit different. Um, one of the things I want to kind of bring it back down to something a little bit more. I want to go to a two second exposure and I want to go to ISO 400. Now that's not too bad. Let's uh, let's go back again. Off to the the right, you'll see that that kind of reddish white. Now this is a 760 nanometer cut filter, so this is still rather low in the spectrum. So what that means is anything below 720 nanometers is going to be cut off. So only 720 nanometers and above lights. Now, one of the things, there's a high reflection of infrared light from the, I think, chlorophyll or something in the thing. Uh, it's called the Woods Effect. And uh, again, that's why the, the foliage is looking wh white, because it's reflecting a lot of light. And so, again, hit another one. So, I'm now, that's a four-second exposure. And the highlights are still a little bit blown out. So, I'm going to go... Do a one second exposure and that's kind of dark i'm gonna go up 1.6 seconds see if i can get some sort of mid ranges here and maybe even combine them um, now what i want to try doing is switching back to to video uh my batteries so now i'm up to 3200 and uh, I'm at 3200 ISO while this thing beeps at me and 25th of a second and I mean as you can see the screens it's not even denting it um, so I'm just trying to I'm just playing around with a couple settings and seeing how I can maybe get uh, yeah I really can't so I'm just going to go back to the camera setting. At least we can see a little bit of something, I think. Um, 
So it's really long shutter. So as you see this, I'm going to do a little bit of pan. And you might have some hard time seeing some of this stuff. Look at that, that glare from the, the sun. All the sun dogs. But you notice definitely all the whiteness. So this is definitely too hot. I mean, the, the hot mirror inside the Mavic is definitely too hot for um, good infrared photography, unfortunately. I'm going to also try this on the uh, Mavic, uh, not the Mavic, uh, this is the Mavic, on the Unique also. So I'm going to build a custom filter for that and see how that is. I think that camera would be also easier to, to modify for infrared than this one. Now, I've had several people ask me, why do you want to use infrared? Um, and if you get it working right, infrared is really an interesting uh, animal to work with. The Life Pixel, uh, I've been talking with some guys over there. I have a link below to their site. They do quite a bit with uh, having modified the Mavic, uh, Mavics and also the Phantom series with uh, uh, infrared sensing. And so we've landed, um, it, but uh, what you can do is you can see a, a finer detail in things. A lot of times this is used in industrial settings, and this is one of the things that I want to do is, yes, I know, RC battery low. So I'm pretty much out of everything for this, this flight. But what you can do is you can see a lot finer detail because the, the focus range is narrowed. Now, what you're seeing here, if the hot mirror wasn't in front of this camera, would be a really sharp image. But, you know, because I'm having to go way up in ISO and way up in time, this is what's really distorting the image. And that's what I want to experiment around with, is I'd really like to fly a very strong... Uh, near what's called the near IR because because far IR is like in the 10,000 nanometer range that's where you start seeing heat and things like that in a FLIR camera where this what I want to do is be up around 720 to about 950 nanometers and you get really a sharp image but you know most of the time it's going to be a black and white or a false color image so anyways kind of wanted to explain a little bit of that and uh anyways hey let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch and we'll see you in the next video where we fly something else cheers